I think I was part of like the like quote unquote hiatus. You know, it was like we were still around, we were still jamming, we were playing some shows and stuff, but we'd often we had some big tours that got cancelled through to unfortunate, you know, circumstances and just kind of lost time that way. And then you burn yourself out and you don't have as much energy or enthusiasm to record and then all of a sudden you haven't done records for ages, which is that's like a real shame looking back to have that long without putting out proper records. Like a lot of these songs on this new record, they're like over 10 years old. Like we've been practicing them and learning them and a gig comes up or a tour and you kind of put it on the back burner and like, yeah, it's, without having to play shows, then we could actually, you know, focus on actually getting the stuff recorded, and, you know, put the records out. Uh, it's probably the polishedness and the fact that it sounds different is probably mainly to do with the mixing and mastering because we've actually got someone different who has a kind of sound of his own and we thought we'd try it out and we think it kind of works. So. I, I don't think we're like deliberately trying to sound more polished no, necessarily. Yeah, yeah. But we probably do pride, pride ourselves on trying to play tight and stuff. So like, you want to be able to hear the tightness if, if it's there. Two Hour Wait is a house I moved into in about 2000. It's, uh, there's a shop at the front and a house at the back and not many neighbours. Uh, that meant we could practice there, make as much noise as you want without any worries with the cops. And then we just started doing shows there for the same reason. And um, it's still going to this day, which is like, you know, more than 20 years later, which is kind of nuts. Yeah, like the band started there, like our first practices were there. Um, was that first show there? Yeah, I think so. Either first or second. It's a big part of Perth uh, punk scene and a big part of our history. I, I do like doing that, yeah, pointing out that we are Australian and adding a bit of Australianness to it, uh, even Perthness. Like the, those bands, those 90s bands, I never got to see because I grew up in LA <coughs> so did Jay. So by the time I moved to Perth, they'd already um, like long gone. Bands like Rupture and Nailed Down and Heist, they. Like I was buying their records and they seemed so sketchy and so sort of like just kind of fucked up and Australian and I just wanted to try and, you know, infuse a little bit of that into extortion. I mean, we're not really sketchy dudes, but you know. I mean, we might not have been sketchy, but we were definitely like weirdos. Do you yeah, know what I mean? True. And that was like a big part of the identity of the band, I think. It's like, we weren't like, like cool punks or something. We were like kind of weirdos at this like weird house, like playing like weird music and like yeah, yeah. not really like trying to do anything, just trying to do a band. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he scared the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, he scared yeah. the shit out of me. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, he actually <clears> played <throat> in uh, like uh, all those bands. He played in Rupture, Nailed Down, and Heist at you know various points in their existence. writing lyrics and you've got all these different options it's hard to know where to start when you've got a um, like a concept album it's, it's set for you so you've got something to work with it's funny you point out that um, sick more so than De degenerate because degenerate kind of wasn't planned to be uh, like a concept album it was just like we had a bunch of songs and I noticed that a bunch of them just kind of fit that mold so it was like, just kind of the vibe of the stuff yeah, that yeah. You, were, you were putting together at time was just like sketchy like yeah, yeah. sketchy fucked up dudes yeah. and then thought well fuck if i've got a bunch of them i might as well just write you know that's something to write but, the but sick was very deliberate i remember that yeah. that you got really stoked on this idea you had of like yeah and that's specifically yeah. because of degenerate like um i saw what happened to degenerate thought oh well what if i do this from the get-go and maybe you know do it chronologically you know we don't want to tour too much. Like that time when we moved to Melbourne, we played 
pretty much did too much and it yeah, stifled the writing and recording. When we recorded this stuff in 2019, we actually recorded uh, probably about double, like you know, like 28 songs or something. So there is more material, but we at the moment it's up in the air whether we're gonna like release the rest of it or maybe re-record it or maybe. Yeah, and you something. got some pretty clear ideas for s yeah. stuff you want to do in terms of recording, and it's kind of like managing that balance, I guess, of like you know doing shows but staying enthusiastic and like I th I think right now we're like. I, like we're in a good place and so I would really like to uh, get as much done as we can and especially with recording while the band is like really motivated and playing well and just it's just kind of working you know like everything's kind of firing so hopefully we can do more good records and stuff soon.